Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to tell you how to fix HyperX and Unity not detecting quadcast. Fix 1. Update drivers and software. USB drivers. Right click on the start menu and select device manager. Expand the universal CDL bus controllers section. Right click on each USB root hub and select update driver. Choose search automatically for updated driver software and follow the prompts. Operating system. Open settings from the start menu. Go to update and security and click on check for updates. Install any pending updates and restart your computer if necessary. Fix 2. Check USB connection. Port. Disconnect the HyperX Quadcast microphone from the USB port. Connect it to a different USB port on your computer, preferably a USB 3.0 port. Cable. Inspect the USB cable connected to the Quadcast for any visible damage. If available, try using a different USB cable to connect the microphone. Fix 3. Uninstall and reinstall HyperX and Unity. Uninstall. Go to the control panel, then programs and features. Find HyperX and Unity in the list, select it and click uninstall. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the uninstallation. Reinstall. Visit the HyperX website and download the latest version of HyperX and Unity. Run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software. Fix 4. Check Ingenuity settings. Device detection. Device detection. Open the HyperX Ingenuity software. Look for the Quadcast microphone in the list of devices. If it's not detected, try refreshing the list or restarting Ingenuity. Permissions. Ensure that Ingenuity has permissions to access USB devices. You might need to check your system's privacy settings or any security software settings that could be blocking access. Fix 5. Test on another computer. Different PC. Disconnect the Quadcast from your current computer. Connect it to a different computer to see if it is detected there. This helps determine if the issue is specific to your original computer setup. Fix 6. Contact HyperX support. If none of the above steps resolve this issue, contact HyperX support for further assistance. Provide them with detailed information about the problem. Thanks for watching the video. Do like, comment, and share our video. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for upcoming videos.